Hello, Calvary by the Sea and friends. This is Pastor Moses Barrios, pronouns he and el, and the senior pastor at Calvary by the Sea. I hope you are doing well. I'm so glad to be able to connect with you today. I want to share with you some good news about this Sunday and about upcoming worship services and about our November annual stewardship campaign and month. Firstly, about this Sunday, we culminate this three-month sermon series on liberation theology. We have journeyed together and learned together about economic and social and political liberation and the Trinitarian God's essence and also the call for the church, the call for us. So you don't want to miss this Sunday because it'll be my final sermon on political liberation and I have lots to share. Additionally, together I and our Congregational Council will be commissioning Anuhea Pisania as our children's director. Is That's exciting news, right? We are so excited too as uh, this new role enters our congregation as a children's committee and a congregational council in our pastoral staff and ministry team. We made the spiritual and strategic decision to invest in our children's future. Did you hear me? 2024 data says the following. It says that 80% of new families will not continue to attend church if there is not a good children's program. Did you hear that? The Barna Group data says that children who regularly attend church are more likely to maintain their faith into adulthood. Friends, this has present and future implications, not only for Calvary by the Sea, but for the entire American Christian church. So I want to encourage you to be on the lookout for committee chair Nate Na Maxwell Daugherty, his, his presentation on children's ministry. It's going to be a video to better understand this new role. We're excited about that. This leads me also to the month of October. On Sunday, October 6th is the first Sunday of Pride Month in Hawaii. I mean, here in Hawaii, we have a far longer history of respecting the queer and trans community. Can I get an amen? Valuing every single individual. And some might ask, why do we celebrate Pride Month in October and not June like the rest of the continent? Well, here in Honolulu, Pride Month is celebrated in October because it coincides with LGBT History Month with National Coming Out Day and also Spirit Day. And it all culminates on Saturday, October 19th at the Pride Festival, which we are part of and will be part of. If you have not signed up, please go to sign up to be either part of the parade or the booth. Uh, join us to recognize and celebrate our queer and trans siblings and their gifts and their presence among us in our island and this will be happening on October 6th. Minister Rhonda Littledale, uh, the leader of Pride Connection, will be preaching for us, so you don't want to miss that. On October 13th, we will have Indigenous Peoples Sunday, a worship experience that reclaims the histories that have perpetuated violence and, let's be honest, uh, genocide against Indigenous peoples. We will be celebrating, though, on that day, the healing that's currently happening in America and on our island. You won't want to miss this because Reverend Dr. Wally Ryan Kuruiwa, will be, who's a retired UCC pastor, by the way, will be preaching for us on that day. I'm looking forward to that. Then on October 20th, bring your pets to church. Did you hear me? Yeah, bring your pets for our annual Blessing of the Animals service, one of the most beloved services of the year. We will be ending by the ocean side as well as we, as, as we bless all the animals. Um, we will also be blessing even stuffed animals. So parents, please bring your children and their stuffed animals. And then on October 24th, this is a Thursday, 
we will be having our first online membership class via Zoom. Did you hear me? It'll be amazing. If you have been attending worship online or on campus, this is for you. Perhaps you want to learn more about our Lutheranism or about our history or where we are headed in the coming year, then please come. All are welcome. Send us an email to info at calvarybytheseed.org or sign up at the Welcome Center to let us know you are coming. We will email you some documents. Minister Grace and I will be leading the conversation. Come and learn more about our church, about our mission and values, and how to become part of our spiritual family. Then on October uh, 27th, this will be Reformation Sunday. And as Lutherans, we celebrate God's spirit in Luther, right? In Martin Luther for his boldness and prophetic witness and response, spirit that is still alive and well today. So on this day, we will reclaim, we will proclaim the gospel message of hope and liberation for our hurting world. And we know as the election voting gets on the way around that time that we need the good news of Jesus Christ that only perpetuates, only spreads love and justice. And that's just it, right? We do need that in this very moment, I believe, hope, love, and justice as a sense of a coming goodness, a sense that we are living in a world that is being made new, being made whole, being made complete. This is uh, the message of November, by the way, as we begin our annual stewardship campaign and month. This year, Reverend uh, Jane Ryan Kuruiwa, she she's our stewardship committee chair. She will be kicking off on November 3rd uh, with a sermon focused on stewardship education and response. On November 10th, I will pick up from there. I'll be preaching on that Sunday. And then on November 17th, Minister Grace will be wrapping up this conversation about how we can join in God's mission for CBTS in 2025. So good, so good, right? The, the season that we are in, uh, the season that we are heading into, so many opportunities to engage, to participate, uh, so many opportunities to connect with one another, to hear one another's stories. If you have not joined an Ohana group, join an Ohana group. Remember, you are welcome here. You are loved. You are safe. And God is happy with you. Blessings on this day and hope to see you around. Much love, much love. God bless.